Hello, it's Gary and Paulie back with another video, and it's Life is Strange on the PlayStation 4, and we're about to start episode 2. So let's get cracking on this one then. Do you remember from the first episode, Max has met up with Chloe? Um, I'm based on the choices that I made in the episode. There's quite a lot of interesting developments at the end of episode 1. Uh, you had Chloe's dad put all that security on his home. And there's all sorts of things happened as well. Lots of un unanswered questions in the as well. This episode of Life is Strange. That got away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone! Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is it grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. So then back of episode two then, and this is the first part. And the first option we've got is to snooze. Yeah, we all hate that dreaded alarm clock in the morning, don't we? The snooze button being the favourite button on the alarm clock. And she uses her mobile phone like many of us do as an alarm clock. So timetable then, what else have we got? We'll play the old guitar. And we've got two messages. Shower supplies, clothes, poster. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Some of these have already examined in episode one, haven't we? Have a look in the mirror. Whoa. Hello, zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Read the cell phone then, Let's see what messages we got. Meet me at the diner in 40, I'll be there, do not be late, or no, time is not on your side, don't get high like in my room, on my way, you are evil, 40 minutes or else. So like episode 1, I'm sure there's some more photographs for us to take. And we've got them on the screen there. Some sort of donut, some sort of dead bird in a cage, is it? Yep. 
firewalk from here. Is that a reference to Twin Peaks? I can't remember that. That's going back some. All sorts of uh, new pickies to take. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. The old diary on the floor. Oh, that's the, uh, the Max wall. Caulfield photo memorial wall. The old wall photo blanket. Look, make the bed. Let's make the bed. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. Open the drawer. It will be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Yep, that's enough of that. What we got? We looked at them, haven't we? Sticky note. Don't remember that one. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Whoa, looks very confusing. Yeah, if you want to read that, just uh, pause the video. I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Max has been researching time travel in a big way then, quantum physics, wormholes, and all sorts of things. Let's water Drink the up. plant. It's got electrolytes. Remember from the first episode, watering the plant said it'd have consequences, and obviously I've watered it again. Uh, so it's come up with that um, warning again. No idea what the consequences are going to be. There you go. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Right, so shower supplies. And there's a drawer, so just open the drawer first. Uh -oh. See what's in here. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. <laughs> I mean, anyone wants to wear that watch, do they? Right, shower supplies, it will let me lock on and uh, okay, take Max, them. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Courtney, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it, consider it done. What's going on there? Sounds like a bit of cheating, doesn't it? in person posters yet yeah, we've seen all them from episode one no brook here oh don't know why I just <laughs> tried to rewind time there fine I won't disturb you can't remember how to how to move quicker ow oh dear Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. That's the second time you've helped her. Why, well, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max, that's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Are you my guardian angel? Hardly. I just have a sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film Flash Drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? 
Oh, how can I not pick Back to the Future? It's one of my absolute, absolute all-time films. Did really enjoy Groundhog Day. Looper was all right, but... I love Back to the Future, of course, but who doesn't? Can you imagine going back in time to Blackwell in the 1980s? We'd suffocate from all the hairspray. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. Right, so we've saved Alyssa again from a projectile. That's twice. Hopefully she's not getting too suspicious. Whoa. What have we got on here? Could be fun. Glad I'm not the... Thanks for the warning. Yep, read all them from episode one. Showers open. Don't get it too excited out there, guys. You're not going to be seeing naked girls. Um, so it's all going to be pretty, pretty censored. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. <laughs> Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. So, we have a book to find for Kate. Bring our book back. And now it's time to get all scrubbed up and washed, I suppose. Otter power? I'm so not there. I'm good to flow. Thanks. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good shower? Wakes you up in the morning. Well, I'm like a zombie myself. Till I jump in the old shower. Kate doesn't look very What's happy, up, does Kate? she? School. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. Because he hasn't changed much from the first episode. Didn't really expect her to, to be fair. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> and she's uh, graffiti in the mirrors in the bathroom. Should have left her with all the paint all over, I think. Well, get a chance to embarrass her again. I, I better get dressed then go give back Kate's book. I won't be rewinding time, that is a fact. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. 